FNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I'd like to start out the show with a chart that was given to us by our friend Mike over there uh, across the pond over there in Europe. Uh, basically shows the QQQ from 2009 to 2023, 14 years, and how many times the 200-day moving average has gone 20% uh, above normal. And as you can see on the green side over there, it shows you the number of times that it's happened during that period of time. And then you can see the red column, what happened after that. And then the far column is how many days it took to make a correction. Folks, uh, I think this is what we're looking at right now. We're right at this level. We're at 19%. It's only been at 20 uh, twice in 14 years. So this tells the market is certainly uh, overbought in the NASDAQ, as we've heard on the news day after day hour after hour, minute after minute. If we take a look at the NASDAQ here, uh, this is a chart, goes an hourly chart that goes back over the last six weeks. And I wanted to bring it to your attention because it has some similarities that you might be interested in, especially if you like ABCD patterns. You can see the large ABCD pattern. There was your 382 coming in here around June the 4th, if you remember, that was a 382 retracement. We were talking about that on the air. In fact, it was very bullish. Here's where we rolled over the contracts. And then you can see we've completed an ABCD. Now you notice these two red boxes. This means that that swing was 2.73. Instead of one to one, it was 2.73. This one was 2.78. So it has been completed. That is a completed ABCD pattern. When you add that to the fact that all of, so many of these stocks are above their 200-day moving average, that uh, that's a sign that the market will uh, have some type of a correction. How much? We don't know, and maybe it won't even be anything. We don't know. No one knows that. All we have to do is decide when we're going to buy and when we're going to sell. Folks, when I started doing this trading stuff years and years ago, I was fortunate enough to go through a whole great learning experience where I lost seven figures and most people would have given up. To me, it was just money and I knew I could make it back. I wasn't even bothered by it. I mean, I had spent a lot of money on the way up to folks. I mean, you know, I wasn't poor. I've never been poor. Like Frank Sinatra said, I've been rich and I've been poor and I poor uh, rich is better. I'm not rich. Well, I'm rich in so many other ways, but financially, I do I do okay. But the main thing I want to tell you is this. When you're doing this as a trader or as a speculator, it's not – I keep saying this day after day. How It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. These patterns work about two out of three times, about 61% of the time. The other part of the time, they're not going to work. Now, today I had to make a really big decision. We've been long wheat, corn, and beans. Well, wheat we sold out earlier, but we're long corn and we were long beans today. I'm going to show you what I did because I want to stand by this. We're going to see what happens next week, but we've had one heck of a run this week, okay? And I'm going to give you my reasoning behind it. And I told the folks on I did the 24-7 uh, videos, uh, this is the uh, – Corn, we were getting out of the corn there at the 618 at uh, 682. Uh, uh, it's had a high of 693. It's now trading at 687, a nickel higher. Uh, that locked in well over $3,000. And as we looked at the soybeans, you'll see here that uh, we were uh, we got out of the soybeans at the 618, and it's continued to go uh, another eight or nine hundred dollars higher. That doesn't bother me, folks. The reason why is, you know, this thing is straight up, and we're coming into a long weekend, and it's a weather market. Now, if there's no rain across the Midwest and it's really hot, this thing's going to open up, and it might even open up the limit. The limit on beans now is $1.15. I'm willing to risk that because I've made six grand 
over this run for the folks in this right here. That we made over a dollar a bear, a dollar a bushel. And that's a lot in just a few days. And that's mainly re remember, nobody wanted it here. Then the weather turns bad and look what happens. Boom. You know, folks, we were stopped out right on the bottom on this. I had my stop at 20 cents and we got stopped out, but we went back in it right there at that 382 and made it all back, you know, and so that that that's why you're always gonna have a chance to get back in. You know, so that's the main reason, you know, why I'm looking at that. Take a look at the wheat market, folks. Just three weeks ago, just get this up here so you can see it. Back on uh, May 30th, not even three weeks ago. Uh, yeah, it was three weeks ago. Hold on, just no, two weeks ago. Let's, yeah, 60, uh, three weeks, two weeks ago. Sorry. Look at the move that we've had here in the wheat market. And the same thing is, you can see today we have completed a big ABCD pattern right up in this area right here. Okay. Uh, we're right at a 50% retracement of the high we made way back here. Remember, folks, this wheat last year, around this time, right around June, was trading at $13.40 a bushel. Then it goes down below $6 a bushel, and nobody wants it. Now, the only thing that can explain that is supply demand, I suppose. All I do is look at ABCD charts. I, I know... Uh, I got a few bags of tricks, you know, things that I use to tell me that, yeah, well, maybe this will help them do some time counts. We look at some retracements and which how the smaller ABCDs are fitting together. But it basically comes down to ABCD right out of Mandelbrot's work and also the work of H.M. Gartley and Andrew Lowe. That's where it all starts. That's where it all finishes. It was a real quandary for me today to look at this and say, what do I do? And there were three things that made me decide to take the profits. One was the Fibonacci number. Two, we were coming into a three-day weekend. Okay. And third, that's a lot of money to book because I know a lot of these accounts that we have here at TFNN are smaller accounts, $10,000 or less. And when you make moves like this uh, where you possibly could double up, I don't expect everybody to double up, but some people have doubled up and done even better. I mean, we've had monster trades these last few days in corn, beans, and gold, and also we had a you know big big win in the S and P too. We had a 30 handle win on the downside in the S and P. I'm not smart enough to go long down there, but that's exactly what's happened, and it exploded to the upside. So that's what I'm watching is I'm over overlooking at these. Uh, uh, Norm Winsky will be our guest here at the break, and uh, he's always got some great information. And with this long holiday coming up, oh, I wanted to mention to you that uh, the Globex markets will be open on Sunday night, supposedly, and also on Monday night. They, they go till Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, well, excuse me, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, New York time on Monday, and then they come back on full time at 6 o'clock New York time on Monday, and then we're back back to normal until we get to the, uh, the 4th of July, and we'll see what's happening there. Okay, we're going to take a little break. If you have any questions, 877 Nine two seven six six four eight. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019. 
finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio Tom O'Brien is here to help Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you Tom's daily market newsletter market insights is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 okay folks i posted the chart of the big a b c d and the nasdaq uh and it hit it right up uh, you can see one one swing was 2.7 times the previous swing the other one was 2.78 time so it's pretty much exactly the same uh, also I'm going to post now the chart of the S&P 500 and as you can see here last Friday uh, this is where I really thought the top came in at 43.38 if you remember we sold 43.38 it went all the way down to uh, 42.80 we didn't quite get to our 42.60 buy price but we were able to make 30 handles off of it and then the next day we made 10 handles off another short and then of course it exploded to the upside this is the rollover where you see that big gap is the rollover from the june march to june but uh, you'll see the double numbers up here the abcd pattern measures to 45 uh, 28 and the 78 percent level of the high from Ju january the third of 2022 comes in at uh, uh, 40, uh, 45, uh, 25 also, 45, 28 also. Folks, I have to give credit to my good friend and writer of my newsletter, John Jameson. He's also the author of the uh, uh, Trade What You, uh, the, the Four Traders Handbook. Uh, when John did that book, he proved to me, uh, I, I'd already known it in in my heart that the ABCD pattern was foolproof but uh, he mathematically proved it to me and showed the different variations that you can look at and that's why it has such a strong following because it gives all these things he also talked about you know how these big funds use these standard deviations and uh, reversion to the means and stuff like that because it's a mathematical market no question about it they can't turn on these numbers for no reason so we've got a whole bunch of these things coming up in here. When you see a chart like what Mike showed us today, where the market is, this is a way of measuring an overbought market when you're 20% of the stocks are above the 200-day you know, moving average. That's a very, very rare occurrence. And when you stop and think that there's seven stocks out of the S&P 500 that run the whole thing, uh, that tells you that this is a market that is uh, skewed, to say the least. Anyway, that's what the S&P is doing. Now, what we also want to do is we want to take a look at the other two indices because this will all be covered in the newsletter uh, this week. But uh, let's do the next one, which is the weakest of the group, and that is the Russell. As we look here with the Russell, you'll see that it's gone up 
to the 61% retracement of the high that we made, you know, way back here last May. I mean, you you stop and think where this is. This is not even the 382 of the high that it made back in 2022. That's how weak this market actually is. So you know, if you're not in, if you're not in the Russell, you have an. If you have, if you're not in the Nasdaq or those seven stocks in the S and P, you know this market doesn't look the same as you look at those seven stocks, and then also with the Nasdaq. Okay, very important. Now the, the Dow Jones looks a, a great deal better. We'll just get this up here so you'll be able to see it. Here is the Dow Jones going back to the high. Now the Dow Jones made the high. Uh, right about Christmas Eve, if you're a member of uh, 2021, and uh, the rest of the market topped on January 4th. But if you'll notice here, uh, we have we hit the 78% level here uh, way back you know, when here in uh, February was at uh, December. We hit it in December, then we came out into the March low. This was the big low when we hit 38.50 in the S&P, and you notice that. The ABCD measures back up to this level. We haven't quite made a double top yet on the 78% level, but it could be coming at any time. So we're going to be watching it very, very closely. You notice the high this day right here, January 4th. Look at that. Beautiful. We have a three drive to a top pattern. The market comes down and make a perfect A, B, C, D, making a new high with a perfect A, B, C, D. I mean, I remember because we did the, the time counts on the show uh, during that time then look at this thing it went down for six months now we're going to be looking at something here very very interesting because everybody thinks the panacea of the world happens to be artificial intelligence that may or may not be true that i don't know the one thing that we're seeing different than we've seen before is the fact that this chart right here is very similar to the dot-com bubble type stuff that we saw back in 2000 and one in 2000 if you'll remember this S&P has of the 493 stocks in the S&P are underperforming the three stocks excuse me this the, the magnificent seven Tesla Alphabet Google Apple Meta uh, Broadcom and I can't remember what the other one Amazon and those those are the ones that are running the market and the reason why it's price weighted, and these are all expensive. There's none of them less than hundreds of dollars. So that's a main thing to uh, pay very, very close attention to when you're looking at these things. Okay, that's what I do. See, when I'm when I'm looking at, and also I wanted to bring this to your attention too because this was one that we looked at at the very beginning of the week. This shows the S and P 500 on an eight-week cycle that uh, is due to top. Uh, in fact, it was due to top last week and uh, has continued to go a little bit higher. Also, remember, folks, on last Wednesday, we this Wednesday, we had Stan Harley, and he made a very strong case that the market should top between the 16th, the, yeah, the 16th, no, when you say the 15th and the 17th of, uh, and the 17th is Saturday, so we're not going to trade tomorrow. That means we've got to come in Sunday. So this market, if, if Stan's work is correct, uh, this market is making some type of a top here as these ABCDs are completing and all of these stocks are so far above their moving averages. Now, I'm not a moving average person, but whenever you see divergences that are related to those statistics, in other words, that many people that are in those stocks, 20% of them, are that high above their 200-day uh, uh, moving average. And the moving average is a big – the 200 and 100-day are used by all of these uh, technical people. I don't use them because I'm a pattern recognition swing trader. That's what I do. I look for little patterns that allow me to get in. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Here was one that worked really good here uh, just the other day on, on Wednesday, and you'll see uh, what happened there. We had that big – we did this on the air, folks. It was 43.38 uh, uh, and went all the way down here. It took out these lows by quite a bit dropped over 40-some handles, and then went up another 100 handles. So, you know, and I, I, when I said you're taking the position off, I said it's going to be a good correction. I don't know if it's going to, going to be the top or not. 
My job is not to try to pick the top or to try to pick the bottom. My job is to find a pattern that I can trade. I don't care whether it's a top, a bottom, a mid mid range, or whatever it is. If I see an A, B, C, D, count me in. Because I know the odds are going to be in my favor, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm putting the odds in my favor whenever I'm doing an ABCD trade, and uh, Gartley's also included in that, and the three drive patterns are ABCDs, and all of those are you know related to what the market dynamics are that Mandelbot, Gartley, and uh, Andrew Lowe prove. So we're going to take a break. We got the wizard coming up from Florida, from Naples, Florida, Astro Trend, Norm Winsky. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Without further ado and a great deal of pressure, we have in the house none other than the wizard himself, Norm Winsky. Norm, how are you doing? Great, Larry. Can you hear me okay? You're coming in. Are you on your G7 jet or are you home? I'm home. Okay, well, so you're ready great, to go. Great you're being with you, Larry. Thanks for having me on your show. Go ahead and I start thought, out, my friend. I, I, hopefully everybody can see my notes. I'm going to start off by reviewing what I said when I was last on your show on uh, May 18th. That was a Thursday. And so we were talking about the first thing I showed you was that after the close overnight, the night of the 17th, 
We had Jupiter 90 degrees of Pluto, and we'd be watching, uh, uh, based on that, cattle, cocoa, copper, cotton, hogs, and tea bonds. And then the morning of the 19th, we had a new moon in, the, in Taurus, the bull. Anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we look at financials, grains, precious metals, and then because it was in Taurus, the bull, we'll be looking at cattle and cotton. Then the night of the 19th, that's OAC, after the close. Geocentric, that's from the point of view of the Earth. Mars was entering the sign of Leo, and we'll be looking at corn and gold. And then over, that was a weekend, 19th of the weekend. And then that weekend we had Saturn making a 90 degree angle to the U.S. chart. So anytime we have somebody to the U.S. chart, U.S. stocks, T bonds, and dollars. So let's take a look at the charts that we had. Okay, Darb, uh, I have, uh, we have a technical uh, question. I'm sorry, Darn. are you talking about it? Yes, I have a technical question. Do you have a fan running by any chance? Do I have a what ready? A fan, F-A-N, a fan running? No. Okay, well then, oh. it's, it's, it. Are you hearing a hum or something? Yes, we are. Oh, well, Al said it was, I, I checked with Al earlier. He thought it was going to be okay. Okay, well, we're all right. You just Your information's coming through good, so just continue on, please. All right, well, sorry for the buzz or hum or whatever it is. I who, thought who knows where it's, it's coming from. Okay, I have another computer, but there's some technical issues in going back and forth between the compute, two computers right now, so I was trying to avoid doing that, you know. Okay. So anyway, here's the corn chart. I had two points for corn. We had the new moon and then we, uh, the morning of the 19th, and after the close of the 19th, we had the uh, uh, Mars go into Leo. There's the moon right there near that low. That's pretty good. And then we we're kind of going sideways into the Mars point there for the morning of the 22nd. If I do have something overnight, I look to do possibly do the treat on the next day opening. And it was just going sideways. So yellow is a pass. Green is good. You had a chance to make some money. We'll probably be. Red arrows on those are here's being on the moon and, and and then it went back up. It was tough making money on that one. You wouldn't know what lost them, but it was just kind of sideways, you know. Here's wheat, there's the moon, and again, it just kind of went sideways, so that's a miss. Here's uh, my measurement is we have to have an opportunity to make some money. A uh, chance to make some money within one trading day and within a reasonable entry, or it's a mess. Here's cattle. We had two points for cattle. We're one day ahead of that little short term top there on the first point, and then on the second point, oh, we had the oh, yeah, Jupiter was in Taurus, so we had the earlier point there, the night of the 17th, opening of the 18th, right there, and then we had the moon there uh, for that short term top, and we did get a little bit of a climb there. So you had a chance, looks like maybe a big couple of handles there on the cattle. Cotton was excellent. So you're right near that top there, one day you had the top, and then right on the top there for the cotton. And then you had a pretty good, uh, that about, wow, that was about well, down here, that's about seven handles there on cotton. And you know, Larry, that's 500 bucks a handle there on cotton. It's 3,500 right, large, so that's a big one. What's, what's that? 3,500 bucks. Yeah, exactly. That, that's a little better minimum wage, right, Larry? Well, okay. maybe where you are. <laughs> so now, what's that? Maybe where you are. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, okay. that's true. It's pretty expensive here now in Naples. All right, so anyway, Coco is uh, sideways, so we did nothing. That's a yellow box. Here are the hogs. Hogs were, I, that was the indication that hogs may have found a trough there. But no, those hungry hogs just kept going down, down, down. So that's a miss. And, but cotton was, I mean, copper was okay. You had a little short-term top there, so you had a chance to make, looks like about, I think about eight handles, something like that. There's two grand there. Here's silver, had a little pop up there for uh, some eighth possible chance to make some money there. Here you got to caught a low and a high there in the gold within a day or so. Right there on the, uh, that was the, um, uh, oh yeah, that's the moon. And then we had the Mars in the Leo for a top. And then we went down. 
There's the S&P. We had four points for S&P. And you had uh, a day ahead of that little top there. And then it went down. Oh, and then it rallied back up. Oh, oh I get it. Uh, that's the day after and the day before that high there. That's what was going on there. So we got four points, four policy points for the S&P. And you caught this top here and you had a nice decline there for over 100 handles, it looks like. And then bonds, not so friendly. We had three points for the bonds, and we struck out there on the bonds. That was my clunker market of the uh, window here. All right, so there's three misses there for bonds. Here's the dollar index. We have a little short-term top there. Here's the Aussie, a little short-term low there for the Aussie. And I guess they kind of hopped up there. Kangaroo style, you know. All right, here's the British pound, made a little short-term low there. Uh, here's the Canadian dollar, just went sideways, so no go there. Uh, here's a nice little short-term low on the euro. So you had a chance to make some money there. Another short-term low on the yen. So, oh, right, we got one more here, Swiss franc, made a short-term low there. So if you add them up, all the arrows, we had 19 winners, seven misses out of 26. For 73.08 percent winners. Uh, here's my. Uh, I didn't show you this in advance, so you just have to take my word for it. I think you get this, Larry, so you know that I'm doing this uh, honestly. Uh, here's my sort of my version, of what people call the planetary index or Bradley index. I've changed it a lot. Uh, uh, sometime, if you, if you want, we can call, call me up. I'll explain what the differences are between my model and Bradley's model. Anyway, we were doing great here. We've been looking for a low there on here as this is another one of these coming up uh, here this weekend, or no, in a few days, make that next week. Mercury at zero latitude. Look at that. That was a nice low there. Then we went up for a, a full moon lunar eclipse there for a little top. Then we kind of made a low here on Mercury turning direct and Mercury aphelion there. And then we had a new moon right there, and so forth. And we were doing really well, and Mars aphelion there. And then it, the train went off the tracks for the last two to three days of the month. All right, looking look ahead here now, here's what's coming up this weekend. We have this is 16th got it, got it. after the close. Norm, this we got to pay a few bills. Saturn in Pisces. Norm, did you say something, Larry? Yes, sir. We got to pay a few bills. Stay with us here. Commercial coming up, my friend. All right. We'll be right back with Norm Winsky, folks. Astro Trends. Don't miss it. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Norm, please continue. What, what's going to yes, happen? Sir, this okay, here's week. what we got coming up this weekend. We have the 16th AC, that means after the close. And of course, we have the three day weekend. So we'd be looking to see, uh, you know, where we're at as we go into Tuesday's opening. We have Saturn in Pisces turning retrograde over the weekend. And we have a new moon. Uh, you might recall, Larry, anytime we have a new moon, full moon right on top of a planet turning retrograde or direct, that's usually really a top-notch, high percentage uh, change in trend window. Uh, we've had the market had a pretty big rally here now. We're up to almost 44, 50 area. Uh, speaking of that, I'm gonna go off the record here now. I did some calculations last night for my clients. I'm gonna share those with you now. The bear market that we had, that's what they were calling it, from uh, the January 4th, 2022 high of 48.19 roughly. I'm dropping the rounded off. The pennies there. Uh, dropped, we dropped to, I think, October 13th of 2022 to about 34.92 for 1,327 S&P handles. So that's uh, about 27.4% uh, drop. Now, if we were to add that percentage to the low of 34.92, guess what? We end up at 44.53, I think, somewhere in that neighborhood. And we're very close to there right now. So I think that's a, probably some kind of harmonic level and some other harmonics that point to this price level here. And of course, then we have Saturn turning retrograde and the new moon. So what we'd like to see ideally is the market to close on or near its highs here today. And then we might have a good setup going into Tuesday morning for the three day weekend. Okay, then after this, after Tuesday, let's see, that'll be the, uh, we have the into uh, you know, Tuesday night, no, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, we have Jupiter uh, 90 to the US, uh, and that's the US stock T bond dollar. And then the night of the 22nd into the 23rd, we have Mercury at zero north latitude. You saw in the chart there, this is north latitude. You saw what happened when the market made a nice low there when Mercury was zero south latitude. So that's a, also a high confidence point. So we have these four points here. And, and oh, by the way, I don't know if you mentioned this, Larry, but I haven't seen anything in the media about it. You can tell me if you've seen anything or not. But you know, they made a big deal when the, uh, that, when the, uh, when the market dropped more than 20% on the downside, oh, we're in a bear market. Have you seen anything, anybody say anything about the fact we're now up 20% from the lows? And yes. according to Wall Street's definition, we're now in we a bull market, right, Larry? We we, po we posted that on the, uh, posted that in the chart today, starting about the fact that there were, uh, this only happened like uh, 14, in the last 14 years. Every time that's happened, there's been a correction. And uh, we were talking about that at length. Now, would you like for me to send you the chart on that uh, so you can take a look at it? Okay. I'll do that. Thank you. Yes, please. All right. So anyway, that's what I got for today. And here's me. There's my quickie bio there. 
I, I was training in college back in the early 70s, been doing this for about 50 years, and I made enough money while I was in college to end up buying a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange in 1975, and also traded on the Board of Trade. We were in the same building, the Board of Trade people created the CBOE and traded a little bit on there in the mid 80s. And so I, I was a floor trader for about 12 years. And then in my mid to late 30s, I decided I was getting to be an old man there. Time to leave the floor, you know. So anyway, now I'm in uh, living in paradise, you know, in beautiful Naples, Florida. And I've studied all this stuff. So, and I have a class where I go over a lot of this stuff if you sign up for my letter. So give me a call if you have any questions or anything I'm doing here. Be happy to talk to you. I will be available here over this three-day weekend. So looking forward to helping some of your folks. Larry, here's my contact information. I'm in beautiful Naples, Florida, 239-216-2578. Or email me at annwinskyyahoo.com. Or you can call me on Skype at N-W-I-N-S-K underscore one. Uh, any questions from the Tiger Den there, Larry? No, I think we've covered it. I did just send you the chart, and uh, what I'm going to do here is when we finish, uh, I'm going to talk about that 200-day uh, moving average thing, uh, the d divergence, because it's uh, very unusual going over 14 years. It happened every time. So anytime I see something that's 100%, it uh, gets my attention. Oh, but that was 20% <laughs> over the 200-day moving average, right? Yes, that's what that was, yes. Oh, I'm just talking about a 20% move. Wall Street defines that as either a bear market or a bull oh, market. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I, I, I haven't, I, I haven't I, seen okay. on My point is, I'm talking about mass psychology now. Yeah. I haven't seen oh, yeah. anything in the media saying that, that we wow. were in a bull market now. I did There's see still, a lot of, of yeah. coverage when we hit the 20% yeah. mark. On the downside, yeah, saying we're that we so consumed we're so consumed with artificial intelligence that it, uh, you know, anything else is secondary, I guess, because that's going to cure the world from every, what everybody's telling us. So we'll see how it works well, out in the long run. Maybe they'll wake up one day and decide we're in a bull market, and then you know, we'll probably be near the top. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how the way it that's, goes. that's the way that works, yeah. you know, right? Sure. Hey, listen, Norm, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll have you on again when we're maybe uh, in about uh, 14 days when we have another full moon. How's that? Well, let me uh, check my calendar. I'll, okay. I'll get back to you on that, I, okay? I understand. You bet. Take your time, and if you can make it, just let us know, okay? Well, that looks like a publication weekend there. May not be able to do that. Probably sometime okay. in July. That sounds good. Okay. Well, enjoy the 4th right, of July holiday, and we'll see you soon. All right, thanks a lot. I hope you to bet. hear from some of your folks soon. Thanks, okay. bye. Okay, you bet. Norm Winsky, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this chart back up that Mike sent us uh, showing the number of stocks that uh, uh, how, how many times. Uh, I'm going to read this darn thing so that we can uh, read it together so everybody can see it. It's the how many times 20% of the stocks are above the 150-day moving average. And there has been in the 14 years between 2009, every single time that it's gone 20% above. Now you can see it hasn't happened 20% above, but one, two, three. Oh, wow. In uh, September 2020, it was 30%. Then the market dropped 14% in the next three weeks. And right now we're sitting at uh, almost 20% at 19.67. And so we'll see if that's going to be uh, anything at all. Folks, all I do is I look at patterns to allow me to get in without, you know, without risking the, the, far, the farm. You know, that's, that's what I'm doing. And I, do, I, I don't do a lot of trading, a couple trades a day. I set up trades. Sometimes there's two or three of them that work. Sometimes you might get four or five of them. Two of the five might work. Four of the five might work. But I try to do all the ones. That give me a clear A, B, C, D, and I know if I keep doing that over and over again, I've been doing this for 17 years here, folks. You know, so something must be okay with A, B, C, D. That's my guess. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm going to finish the show with that NASDAQ chart going back to the uh, middle of June, <coughs> excuse me, May. You can see here that we've had a pretty big ABCD pattern. Again, the retracement that we had right in the middle of this was exactly 382. We pointed that out to you, of course. But uh, after we made that ABCD to the upside, uh, this is completed. Now you can see this swing was 2.78% of this move right here. This one was 2.73%. So that means that it was just about absolutely perfect. So how much of a correction should we get? We should get a 382 correction of this swing right here, which would take us down, oh, about five or 600, maybe 700 uh, NASDAQ points down into this area. And folks, the whole world is bullish, and they could stay bullish for a long time. I'm not saying the whole world is bullish because there are some people. Uh, I'm basically neutral. I'm just looking at a pattern right here. Folks, I couldn't be bearish anymore after uh, Monday when the market uh, actually opened unchanged and went higher. Uh, you know, I, uh, I I was short. I got out of that short very quickly with a 10-point stop. Uh, and then we had a really nice move on Thursday that got all that money back plus some. Then we had a break-even trade in there. But we've had big trades in beans, corn, and also uh, the gold market. We had two small losses in the euro and the British pound. One of the things, folks, that I'm going to be focusing on is that someone that follows us closely here 
said that, you know, that every single trade that you get stopped out of makes a lot of money. Well, I've been looking at that for years, folks, and I'm trying to figure out a way to get in so that I can uh, not risk very much. That's the whole key, because my whole motto is it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And that's the real the real key from my perspective is that's what you want to be doing because uh, you, you're eventually going to get it. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And we'll see you on Tuesday.